Okay, today we're going to talk about one of my all-time favorite handguns. Now, why is this one of my favorite handguns? Well, I don't know. I just really like the gun. Now, I bought this gun at Accuracy Gun Shop in East Las Vegas, Nevada back in 1981. So, I guess maybe that's why I like it. I've had it over 30 years. I've put a lot of rounds through it. I've really enjoyed shooting it. And it's just basically a, a double action revolver. Six round capacity. It is empty. A uh, couple things that sold me on this gun. Uh, one was the price. Two, I like the fact that it was stainless steel. I like the four inch heavy barrel on it. It does have adjustable sights. And the one thing that really caught my eye was Ruger at the time advertised that you could take this gun apart with nothing but a dime. Now, if you've ever taken apart a Smith & Wesson or a Colt, you need you know you need more than just a dime. You need a couple of different sizes of screwdrivers. You might need a mallet. Very complicated pistols. So I bought this. I'm glad I did. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it out in the shop, take a closer look at it. I'll show you how to take it apart with a dime. And then we're going to take it out to range and shoot it. Now I might add that uh, this gun came out in 1971 and it was discontinued in 1985. Now Ruger made a couple different uh, variations of this gun. And uh, altogether, they made about one and a half million of them. Now, I'm willing to bet there's still one and a half million of them out there because the thing is built like a tank. It's going to last forever. And uh, let's take a closer look and uh, see what you think. Let's take a quick look at the sights here. It does have an adjustable rear sight, ramp front with a red insert. I got a dime right here. Let's see if uh, we can take it apart. Now, what you need the dime for is to take the grip off. Now, that's the only thing you're going to need the dime for. Now, once you get the screw out, take off your left grip, and you have a pin right here. Let's see, right there. You're going to take this pin. And you're going to cock the hammer back, and that pin's going to go right in that hole right there, just like so. And release the hammer. Now you can pull this strut out. Now, cock the hammer back, hold the trigger back, use your strut to start this pin out, and remove your hammer pin, and pull the hammer straight out. Okay, once you get the hammer out, next thing you're going to do is you're going to use your hammer strut and you're going to push in this plunger right here. You can just barely see it. You're going to push that in and it's going to release the trigger guard. So what we're going to do, you're going to use your strut and you're going to bring it and you're going to compress that plunger. Let's see if we can do it here. Line it up, squeeze it a little bit. And come on, baby. It's kind of hard to. It's a little awkward this way, but there we go. Now, what's important about this is if you're out in the field and you you drop this in a stream, you drop it in mud, you can take it apart as long as you have a dime. You don't have to have a screwdriver and a big repair kit. Next, we're going to take the cylinder out. But you have a piece right here that's going to fall out when we do that. So we're going to do it upside down. Move the cylinder. And you got this piece right here. Now, this is your bolt. This is what... This is the piece that locks your cylinder into place. So if you just remember this round part right here, it's going to stick out of the frame right here in this slot. So when you put this in... Let's see if we can get a clear picture here. Just drop it back in like that. Now you'll notice on the yoke here, you have a plunger. That plunger, when you put it back together, is what's going to keep that, that bolt in. So again, remove your cylinder, let this piece fall out. Now you know how to put it back together. And basically that's it. Take it completely apart with a dime and a couple of internal parts. Let's go ahead and put it back together real quick. Alright. 
Take your bolt, drop it back in. Let's get your cylinder back in, just like so. And next we're going to put the trigger guard back. Now on the, on the front here, you have a, a notch which is not going to engage the front of the frame right here. So you're just going to engage this notch, check your parts down here, make sure they're lined up. You may have to move that hand to line it up. And once you get everything lined up, just, just snap it back together. Locks up very tight. Okay. Take your hammer, squeeze your trigger, just drop your hammer right in there, line up your holes right there, take your pin, and put your pin back in there. Now point your gun down and make sure everything's working okay. That right, looks good. If you don't point it down, your hammer's not going to drop because there's no, no spring in it yet. And speaking of spring, so just take it, put it up in there, let it seat just like so. All you have to do now is cock the hammer back, remove your pin, and check your weapon. There you go. That's all there is to it. Put the grips back on. Put the grips back on. We're going to take it out, put some rounds through it, and see what you think. Now I've got my target set up at 10 yards, so uh, let's get started. Now there's two ways to shoot this gun. Now it is empty. You can shoot it single action, which gives you better trigger control and better accuracy, or you can shoot it double action. Not quite as accurate, but you can get the uh, rounds off quicker. So uh, let's shoot six rounds single action. All right, next we're going to shoot six rounds double action. Now, if you're going to carry a revolver or keep one in the house, it's real important that you practice shooting at double action because most likely if you use it in a defensive situation, you're going to be shooting at double action. So practice that revolver double action. Might save your life. Okay, that's about it. Um, really a good gun. If you get a chance to pick one up, uh, might as well do it. Excellent pistol. Um, just get you one and, and have fun.